Hey there guys, how's it going? Reaper here. I'm back with another painting video and we're back with another Barbarians mini and it is the last human figure which is the Skull Crusher. It's also a Kickstarter exclusive as well but this is the last human figure because everything else left now is just banners and resource equipment which I will do a video for as well but they're not going anywhere near as in depth as this. But anyway, we prime the mini in a standard grey which we, is normal now and I'm starting covering up all the skin with barbarian flesh so I wanted to go a little bit pale with this mini as it's a lot of flesh so if I did it quite dark it might look a bit funny and plus obviously he's wearing dark clothing which means dark dark together which makes it look, almost look like Batman essentially it's just black but we're going for something a bit more lighter and a bit more in your face essentially but that was it for the flesh and then we move on to he's wearing like a cape sort of thing so I've gone with Necromancer's cloak as I didn't want it to be a colour because I wanted it to make sure that it's separate from all the actual clans so it still stands out but it's not your standard leather or it's not one of the colours so it's nice black it's going to have obviously grey highlights it's not going to be black Although Necromancer's cloak is a grey anyway, it's not black, but it does drive very dark. Which can be good at times, sometimes can be bad, but it all depends really what you're doing. For this it works just how it should do. And that's it for Necromancer's cloak. Then we move on to hemp rope, which is for all of the leather parts. Like he's got, he's fully strapped up boots, so there's no legs on show, and he's got a bit in him um, in the middle as well. But I don't do the straps on his arms in this. I use leather brown for that. So I wanted it to be a little bit separate. But hemp rope is looking very green in this video. Now I'm watching it back. Now hemp rope isn't that green. The uh, colour indicator at the top left is more accurate to what it is. And now we move on to werewolf fur. This is just for the handle on the um, hammer. So I wanted it, werewolf fur is quite thin. So when I painted it on there, it gave it a sort of a grey look as well and changed it to an old wood sort of look. But now we've moved on to leather brown. This is to do all the straps and he's got two wrist guards. Well, they look like wrist guards, it looks like a big leather strap essentially and he's also wearing belts he's got two belts on for some reason now he's got the one main one then there's one that sort of is an offshoot and goes around the back slightly but let's just quickly paint both of them in this is where you got to try and be a bit more careful as well like if you're going to get paint somewhere get it on the metal parts that haven't been painted yet not on the flesh as the flesh will be a pain to fix and then we move on to electric blue He's got a single potion bowl. Well, it looks like a potion, bowl. probably a water skin thinking about it now. But I made it up as a potion bowl because it makes it look a bit more fantasy. And then we move on to the metal parts, which is army painters gun metal. And that is just everything metal on this model is in this metal. I didn't use any other color for it. there we go that's the end of the metal parts and then we move on to brain matter beige which is just for his hair so i figured he's gonna be old he looks old so give him gray hair i've used brain matter beige because i'm gonna be using a dark tone wash on the model so it would darken it down to a light gray sort of color which is what you would want for gray hair if i'd done it sort of if i used like something like ash gray for this it would darken up a lot and it would look more like black hair now we move on to the first batch of highlights, which is Elven Flesh, and that's just for all the skin parts. Any raised area on the skin is getting Elven Flesh on it. And I find lately I've been doing the highlights before the washes, which 
I used to do it the other way round, and they both seem to work. It's whichever one takes your fancy. But I think I prefer it like this because of the way it blends it when you do the wash. So I always found that if I do a wash and then highlight afterwards, there's a big contrast between them. Whereas if I do it like this, it sort of blends into each single thing. Like the contrast is still there, but it's not as big. Now we're moving on to highlights for the cape, which is Army Painter's Dungeon Grey. It's sort of like my mid-level grey in between Necromancer's Cloak and Ash Grey. And it's just enough that it looks like light is now just brushing across the raised areas. And then once the wash goes on there, that all becomes essentially one thing. And that's it, then we move on to Skeleton Bone, which is not a highlight, but I wanted to do this after the highlights. He's got a bone necklace on, and he is standing on a corpse, which considering he's called Skull Crusher, that makes sense. But it is a bit weird to have on there, since none of the other models are standing on anything. It's just, they're on their base. This one's the only one with something extra. But now we're moving on to the washes, which, this is essentially the finishing part of this model and it's flesh wash for all the flesh obviously but it's the only wash that really works well because it's a nice ready brown so it still looks like flesh but it's dark enough that it actually highlights or low lights even so and that's it for that and then we move on to dark tone which is the rest of the model everything you've got left cover it in dark tone <laughs> even the hair well the hair is exactly what you wanted it to be when it's covered in dark tone. And then I find the hemp rope actually works really well too, covered in dark tone. But I would have thought maybe a green wash on that, but then it would have made it green. A dark tone just adds shadow. But that is it for the wash. And then we move on to the final part, which is of course the base. Every model won't be complete without its base painted up, because it will just look funny. And it's just a standard matte black base, same way I always do. But that is it. That is this model complete. And as you can see, there's some final images there. The skin's, not, I can see now on that, the skin has really blended nicely. But that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.